Hey everyone, it's your girl Sanj. Y'all, today is gonna be a fun just vlog, honestly, of my day, really my evening slash afternoon as I get my house together. Okay, it is a wild up in here and do some cooking and just really get in the vibes right for after work. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoy this, trying some new things and also wanted to share some more about my life with y'all. With that, here we go. So the first thing that I generally do when I get off work is head over to the dishwasher. There is pretty much always a load of dishes in there. <laughs> so I go ahead and unload those. Truthfully though, dishes are a struggle for me to keep up with y'all. It's one of those chores that I feel like you do it and then they build up again and then you do it and they build up again. So. I'm trying to hold myself accountable to unloading at least once a day and then loading at least once a day, but these dishes have a habit of piling up. Um, so it's actually really therapeutic for me to do this after work. It helps take my mind off the day. I love the sound of the water washing and really kind of go into a mindful state of enjoying the cleaning. I like to put on worship music. Um, sometimes I'll put on salsa. Sometimes I'll put on some R&B, just something to create a, a nice vibe as I'm cleaning. And what I just sprayed there, it's my favorite as of recent cleaning spray, a method antibacterial spray um, that I use on the counters. Method is supposed to be a more um, like environmentally friendly brand so it's not super heavy chemicals but it has a really really nice scent that one in particular does and so the kitchen is all done basil likes to hang out with me as i clean and she's a good time she's usually sniffing around looking for some sort of scraps charles <laughs> somehow y'all this dog loves just getting into places and the laundry room i don't even know how he sneaks in there but he does and so i ask him to come out most times he does not listen but we love him and so then my next step since the kitchen is done is working on cleaning up my kitchen slash desk area I've been working from home, y'all, since March of that fateful year, 2020. So I work at the kitchen table, and after work, I convert it into an actual kitchen table as opposed to for my desk. So I'll put my books up that I've had on the desk. I'll go ahead and move the monitor. Um, it's nice because everything's really portable. The mouse, my laptop stand, and my keyboard. So I just can put it away and voila, have it back to a kitchen table. And so I also am in this place cleaning wise where I feel like there's always something on the counters. This is the dog's bag. Um, so <laughs> working on cleaning that off, but like to get the table nice and clean again with that same method, antibacterial cleaner. And I love it. And speaking of love, y'all, I also love candles. I love them so much. And I'm not a candle snob, meaning that I'm not exclusive to certain brands. This one I got from the local Winco. Um, and it's beautiful. And the scent is actually pretty, um, pretty pungent in a good way. And so as y'all can see, good old Charles, he loves to just hop up into chairs. He just, he just loves, <laughs> loves getting into things. And so um, the second part of transferring the, my desk into the kitchen table is moving the desk chair out of the way and just going ahead and bringing back our kitchen chairs so that they can be ready for dinner. And so speaking of dinner, this week was kind of a put together what you can put together type week. 
I had some cabbage. I also pretty much always have a bag of these frozen tilapia fillets. Um, also get those from Winco. They're really easy. And I love tilapia, which I never thought I'd say. I used to think it was kind of a strange fish. But today I'm going to be lightly frying some tilapia on the stove. And so since it comes frozen, my first step is to um, put them in a bowl and put some warm water in there so that I can go ahead and thaw them with that warm water as opposed to having to blast them in the microwave or anything like that. Then to go with this, I had some red potatoes. So I'm gonna be making some roasted red potatoes. I went ahead and rinsed these really quickly and I'm just gonna be chopping them. I don't know if you technically consider this cubing, but chopping them into some nice triangles or triangular type shapes. Um, I love red potatoes. I like to make them for breakfast, but they can also be really cool with dinner. And for some reason, potatoes and cabbage just seem to go together in my mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in a bowl. And what I do from there is toss them in a little bit of olive oil, um, sprinkle in a little bit of salt and pepper, and go ahead and lay those out on a cookie sheet to go in the oven. And so y'all, at this point, we're looking pretty good. <laughs> Minus the dog's mess over there. Um, but I'm feeling it, I'm feeling accomplished. And all this so far has probably taken about, I'd say about 45 minutes to an hour. And so from here, washing my hand, of course, um, since I uh, interacted with Charles, but I'm gonna be chopping up that cabbage that I took out earlier. I do this really as a pretty rough chop, um, trying to use as much of the leaves as possible on just a classic cutting board um, and have that cabbage ready. Now I'm gonna get ready for the fish fry. And y'all, this seasoning, I know it says fish fry seasoning and it looks homemade, it's not. <laughs> it's one of those fish fry packages that you get from the store. Shout out to Winco, this one is actually really tasty. And so as I'm coating those fish, I'm also putting a little bit of olive oil and water, getting that ready for the cabbage. And then here I am getting the oil ready for that fish. So I like to sprinkle a little of that seasoning and see it bubble like you can see here. And that's how I know that my oil is hot enough. And I used olive oil, extra virgin olive oil for this fry. And so I'm gonna go ahead and place those tilapia fillets in there. Ah, oh, I just love the sound of frying. <laughs> I try not to fry too often, to be honest, because obviously it's not that good for you. So when I do fry, I just enjoy that sound. And so after about three, maybe four minutes, I go ahead and flip the fillets as they're starting to get golden brown onto the other side. As you can see, um, they're looking really good in calapia, excuse me, calapia. <laughs> Tilapia is pretty quick. So I use that meat thermometer um, to make sure it's at least 145 before taking them out the pan. So now I'm just gonna add that cabbage to that pot of water and olive oil. Again, the dogs love to hang out when I'm cooking. They wanna know what's going on on the stove. And so when the cabbage is cooked down, this is what it looks like. I just add a little kosher salt to it. Um, and those potatoes are coming out right about this time. I put those in the oven for about 25 minutes and they are looking delicious. And so y'all, that is what the meal was. Those fillets, um, the cabbage and the tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes. <laughs> Basil wanted to get her a piece. Um, and so I was just wrapping up a FaceTime there, quick FaceTime with my friend, but Adam and I love to pray um, and we pray together before every meal. Um, it's really important to just thank God for the blessing of even having food to eat and having a home and, and having each other. So 
shout out to the good lords and honestly y'all this meal turned out really good you can tell we were enjoying ourselves and at this point we do eat dinner together every evening and this is our time distraction free to just talk um, catch up on the days even though we're together all day because <laughs> we're working from home it is really nice um, to just have some designated time where we're not working to focus on each other and so with that I just want to thank y'all so much for watching this video let me know if you liked it if you're interested in seeing more videos like this and I will see you next time